Vodkables. No, no, it's not. Uh, it's just, it's just in case we say anything that's cool, then it'll be recorded. And what I'm going to do, so that we don't find ourselves looking at it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this in the background, so we won't be able, to, we won't be watching it. Okay, so you guys recorded it. Okay. Yeah. So get it out. Um, that's that is the first test. So yes, I can now. I can see what you ate. If it's in Arabic. Then I really have to speak Arabic better. No, no, I like it. Can I see it? Both uh, here and Arabic and here. Oh, cool, cool. Not complete. Okay. Water, two eggs, cheese, bread, milk, water, water, fish, rice. Um, so this is. Let's I'm see. After lunch. Oh, you're starting today? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Then here. Okay. Two o'clock until. Okay. So until 6 30 or. On the water, then 7.30 I have my dinner, it's uh, spaghetti and salad, okay. and uh, two bananas, Good. and hummus, okay. with the bread. Hops. Okay, cool. Actually, that is kind of cool. That, that's it's nice, so I'll, I'll get to practice in my Arabic as well. Um, so the key is there. Now, so you can see what you eat, and I can see what you've eaten. Um, do it one more day for me. Um, can you put in some size, or what we would call portion? How two pieces of fish. Okay. Fide. Two pieces, so you might say two piece. Uh, do you guys, do you know ounces? No. No? Okay. So, uh, what would you guys say, grams? Do you know how many grams? I don't like know. half, like so maybe this quarter. This size, one piece. It's one quarter piece kilo, size. so about. This is, this is. Okay. You see that? I didn't eat yesterday in there um, because I'm going to get the six pack. I, I will do strange things, you know, like on the WhatsApp, I sent you guys pictures of some of the supplements that I use. I'm going to look like sort of like a skinny Lazar, a skinny <laughs> older Lazar. I will look like that um, just for you guys so that you guys can see the guy that's talking about it has the super six pack. Um, you guys don't have to do that. So I'm eating less and I'm taking supplements, but you don't need to. Um, so I didn't, I didn't go to eat. Um, you can see I bring in my eggs and I've got some supplements and oatmeal. Um, <clears throat> um, do it one more day for me, please. And then uh, when you put in water, can you tell me how much, like a cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, two it... bottles. Okay, yeah, put a bottle of water and you can abbreviate it. So if you say one B, one B, one bottle. You don't need, it's not yeah. about English at all. Um, you could even make it short so that I understand. You could just say one uh, B, uh, you know, water. You know, something short, one B water, okay? One B, you know, water or something. So it's short. Um, the idea is not correctness. It's just so I know what you're putting in yeah. and you know. So if, if in the future uh, you change something, and then you do add in a banana, and then the next day, and we go to the workout, and you're stronger, you'll say, okay, what did I do different? Do you understand? Yeah. Like a scientist, um, all of a sudden, last week I did, on bench press, I did 60 kilos. This week, I'm at 70 kilos? What's, wow. What's mixed me? Uh, yeah. yeah. Was it just the training, or it was part of the food? So if you're writing it down and one day you notice, hmm, uh, you, you got eggs and, and you don't have any water, you're like, oh, I didn't drink any water today. And you, got, you know that, but it's, it's best to have it written down. Let's look for good, good, good. So I'm going to say definitely past, past, excellent. Um, and this is not as a teacher. I would do the same thing for my clients. My clients pay me, and I want them to say, yeah, okay, good, I'm doing the right thing, cool. It's okay. not perfect, but it's... It doesn't, no, okay. it's not about perfect, it's yeah. about me knowing, yeah. okay? And he's written it out, again, so you're kind of thinking, um, he's an English teacher. I'm not your English teacher in yeah. there. I'm, I'm your dude, I'm your man, I'm your personal trainer, okay? So don't worry about anything like sentences, okay? And, but it's nice, okay? So for breakfast, eggs and tomato, uh, Shakshuka. Shakshuka, okay. 
with honey and cheese, uh, a cup of tea, milk without sugar, okay, three, cu uh, three cups water, one cup of orange juice, okay, cool. This is, this is better. See, he's going and he's putting in spoons. Yeah. For spoons, you could put SP, and I will understand. 12 SP rice, very good. So he's, he's saying, okay, 12 SP, or you could put cup of rice, like if it'll fit in a cup. And for cup, you could put CP, okay? This will get you thinking, and I love that you're doing that. What we can do, I, I'm sure that there's an app that we can find that you'll just put in three, and it'll say cups of rice or something. Let's, we'll look for it in a minute, okay? So for dinner, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, just drop it down. Uh, let's see, for dinner, uh, 10 spoons of rice with soup and two bananas, okay, two cups of Juice. Juice. Okay, you can just put juice. If it's any kind of juice, to me it's the same. You can put orange juice or you can put apple juice if you want to. That may be a difference, but most juices are for calories, because we're thinking now calories. You know what a calorie is, right? What is a calorie? Calories in food. It's in food. You can't explain it's like carbohydrate. Carbohydrate has calorie, yes. Okay. What is is meat carbohydrate? I think meat. No. There's three kinds of, of calories. Bread. Bread. Bread is carbohydrates. Yeah. What else? Rice. Rice is carbohydrates. Um, is cheese carbohydrates? Cheese? No. 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 What is cheese? Cheese is cheese. Uh, German. German. No. <laughs> okay. This is a white uh, thing. White. White. You've got it here, right? I'll let you open it back up. Okay. Cheese is basically. Oops. Let's go. Just drop down. You should drop down. Oh, you just hit that. Okay. So. That's it. Okay, so cheese is basically this. Milk. Milk, right. Basically the same thing. What is milk? What is cheese? What is ice cream? Kind of milk. Okay. Well, there's three types of food. Really quick for you guys. And I'll write it out. So this is part of it. Let's do it over here. see if this is on the screen because this is something we can post and then guys can go look at it in their free time. Let's move it up. And you can come back to this you guys can see it in the free time. About right there. Okay. So there's food is, is three things. Okay? There's carbohydrates. Okay, and that is, so give me some examples again. Bread. Right. You said rice. Bread. You see that? Cheese. You guys to be able to see that on, online. It'll be visible. Thank you a lot. Okay, rice, bread, milk. Okay, we talked about milk and cheese butter, ice cream, those are not carbohydrates. Yeah. Think about that little message I sent with the pictures. That first one was mostly carbohydrates. Remember the, the little WhatsApp that I sent you? Uh, the color? Uh, vegetable? Vegetables, veg, we'll put veg. It's an apple. An apple's carbohydrate. Fruit? Fruit, okay. Fruits, all fruits, okay. Corn, okay, good. All these things, uh, rice, wheat, bread, uh, pasta, or you said it was spaghetti, okay, those are carbohydrates, okay? That is where you get most of your energy, okay? So think of carbohydrates as your big energy. Let's put energy right here. It's sugar, basically. Okay? Yes. Okay, and, and your carbohydrates, that should be about 50 to 70% of, 
of your food. Okay? I should have left myself more space. And then he's black. I'm used to writing on that huge board. Okay? We'll call this 50 to 70% of what you eat should be rice, bread. So, uh, you know, when you go into the, the dining facility for the cafeteria, yeah, eat a lot of rice, eat a lot of pasta, eat a lot of bread, okay? What, what is muscle made of? And I know you guys know this because everyone asks me. They talk about these things. Protein. Protein, okay, good. Protein's number two. Protein, okay? Beef, meat. Good, okay, so all meats. All meats. Yeah, beef, fish, any kind of meat. Chicken. Yeah, eggs. fish. Eggs. Chicks. Eggs. Okay, eggs are two things, but yes, absolutely. Protein is a big part of eggs. What else? What if I, what if I only what uh, if I, milk? Milk does have a lot of protein. This is true, so we'll put milk down there. Okay. I'm looking at it too much. Now that I know it's in, let's shut it down so I stop looking at it. But we'll put this on there. Okay. Right, so meat. What about, what if, what if I'm like Indian or from California and I don't eat meat? What do I get protein from? What do the Chinese people eat? What is it in Arabic? You know what I'm talking about? It's white and it's in chunks. Uh, the tuna? No, it's not, not fish. You're close. It sounds kind of like tuna, but take out the N. So actually they say the tofu. Tofu. You've probably seen that. Or maybe at a Japanese restaurant at sushi. Tofu. And it's made from beans. Beans also have a lot of protein in them. Beans, like hummus. But hum hummus also has a lot of the last thing. And we'll get back to that. Beans. What about, do you like, uh, let's see, when will you guys eat these? Maybe before a meal. Um, or when you're watching TV um, and they're salty and you chew on them sometimes. Mm, that's not or like Americans like to smash them up and put them in a jar and then we spread it on bread. Uh -huh. And uh, let me see, what is the Arabic word for it? Nutella? Not Nutella. Nutella? Not Nutella. Okay. Uh, no. Nutella. Okay, just so you guys know, but what is Nutella? Is that carbohydrate or protein? It's uh, brown. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's brown. Okay. Right. What What is mostly in there? It's uh, like something like this. It's food. It's an alloy like this. Oh, we know. oh, you're looking. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. What is it made of? What does it start with? Think of the word. Let's write it. Butter. I don't want to write the word up here because we're not going to use it. We'll go over here and I'll write the word up here. Why is it called Nutella? Nuts, you guys. It won't take too much time. Nuts. Okay, nuts. Yeah, when you did this, I'm like, no, it's not part of a human being. But yeah, you're talking about the little pieces, right? Yeah. Those are called nuts in English. Nuts. Whoa, I don't want to there. Yeah, I gotta watch the clothes. Okay, so nuts. What kind of nuts? Do you like nuts? I don't know what nuts. You do Nutella, what Nutella is, or like peanuts. Peanuts, peanut butter. You know what peanut butter is? Americans put it on the color brown. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Kind of like this color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Peanuts. Okay, so this is where a lot of people get their protein. If they don't eat meat, they use beans and nuts. Okay, and sometimes, um, that one, nuts come out. Uh, seeds, sometimes. Okay, seeds like you have the little and throw the sunflower seeds, the seeds, the little seeds in the little packets. That people leave them on my floor in classrooms sometimes. You know, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. Okay, so those are sources of protein. 
And also, you know, ice cream and anything that has milk in it also has a lot of protein. So there's one left. And I think I have. Oh, let's go. So let's say this one is 50 to 70 percent. How much protein do I need? Probably people talk around, yeah, around 30 would be the top, 30%. Probably you could go somewhere from like 20 to 30%. 20 to 30% protein, 50 to 70% carbohydrates. What's the last thing called? And it's actually what you don't want. I don't want. What do you not want? You don't want butter, you don't want ghee. I don't want ghee. Uh, Think of like oil. Um, think of when if you've ever watched mom cook a steak and she cuts off a piece of the steak and throws that away. Yeah, yeah, with custard. It has custard. <laughs> it's it's the piece of the meat, or it's like what's this called? <laughs> you do know. What if a guy is big? What do we call him? Yeah. Huh. Fact. Huh. Okay, so that's the last part of it. What colors have I got? Do I want to do a separate part? I'm making too much. Let's go. What's the D? Okay, so fat. Good, we'll make fat pink. Okay, fat. Okay, where do I get my fat from? I said some of those things. Butter. Butter's almost all fat. Do you like butter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes on bread or. Okay. Uh, what else? Ice cream. What else? Yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. Also, yeah, anything with milk. Chew. Milk. Milk does have, it kind of is both. It has a lot of protein, but it also can have a lot of fat. And you see when you buy it at the, you know, Panda, you have different kinds of milk, 1%, 2%. They have more fat. Okay, oils. Okay, any like olive oil, zaito, zaitun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so oils, and those are the good oils. Coconut oil, right? Zaito, cocoa, I don't know. It's in the blue bottle, um, and you like the Filipinos and Bangladeshis and Indians use more of that. Okay, it's coconut oil, a good oil. Um, and also, there's a lot of fat in some peanuts and stuff like that. This should be, in a good diet, this should be around maybe 10 to 15 percent. And obviously, the numbers, you can mix and match the numbers. But this is what your plate. When, you, when you're talking about food, your plate should look something like this. Most of your plate should be sugar, carbohydrates. That's where your energy comes from. Um, and you'll see a lot of crazy Americans not eating carbohydrates. They stop eating bread. They don't eat potatoes. They, they don't eat the... They get a hamburger and they don't eat the bun. Only meat. Maybe. Yeah, they, they think that they got to eat meat. Sure, meat, it's, the body doesn't turn meat into fat as easy, but if you eat too much meat, it turns into fat. Okay, if you eat too much fat, it turns into fat. It's really easy for the body to turn fat into fat. Um, it's easier for the body to turn sugar, carbohydrates, because carbohydrates are sugar, okay, into fat. And it's difficult for the body to turn protein into fat, but it will do it, okay? If you eat too much steak, it's not fat, it's protein, but the body will turn it into fat, okay? So these are the three kinds of food that you have. So now, now you're thinking about it. Now I'm writing it down. Look at that. When we want to develop muscle, we want to have more protein in our diet, up to 30%. So like me, when I was talking yesterday, go back and I'm talking five, six cans of tuna fish. You're thinking, crazy, I hate tuna fish. Um, 36 eggs, what am I eating a lot of protein? Because I want, muscle is made of protein, so I need to eat more protein to get more muscle, okay? Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And there's things in protein that help muscles grow, called amino acids. 
and amino acids. Maybe you've seen this at GNC. It's like that. Uh, yes, you can buy it. And some of the pictures, uh, if you look at the, that picture that I sent in the WhatsApp, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have some L. Of the mm -hmm. Yeah, like L glutamine, L carnitine, L arginine, and then there's BCAAs. You've seen that BCAAs. So those are amino acids. And when you become more advanced, you can take those to, you know, you'll think of yourself as a better scientist for building my, my body here or a better builder, but we don't, don't worry about that right now. You do not need those. Just like I said when I sent the WhatsApp message, I'm just planting a seed, okay? Just so you maybe think about it. I prefer natural seeds. And that's best. That's absolutely best. Start with this. A lot of people, when they come into the gym and they talk to a trainer, they say, what protein do I need? What, what amino acids do I need? What, what kind of drugs do I need? So, well, let's start at the beginning, okay? But I, I will mention those, okay? So that's what your diet needs to be like when you make a plate. And of course, I, I noticed, yeah, we eat usually three times a day. When you start training, you'll eat more. You're thinking, I want to lose fat. I don't care you will eat more. You'll eat less of some things, um, like I won't recommend juice, but you'll eat more food in general because you'll be using that food to build muscle and that muscle will eat your fat. It will, in effect, melt the fat away. So that's the key. So that's just kind of, again, yesterday I sent just a little bit about food. Here's a little bit more, okay? Um, and now that'll give you some ideas. Now we've got it recorded and I can cut that out and put that online for guys to look at. Um, calories, okay. Give you an idea of calories here. Um, so you know what a calorie is. You know it's in food. It's in, mm -hmm. And each food has a different number of calories per gram. We talk about calories, we talk about calories yeah. per gram. And you know what a gram is, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, carbohydrates, you started to say something about calories. How many, how, many carb, how many calories are in a carbohydrate, do you know? Calories? Mm -hmm. I mean, carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Percent, you Per gram. How many calories per gram of carbohydrate? Okay, um, you have four calories per gram in carbohydrates. You have four calories per gram in protein. Fat per gram, we're talking about a gram. Let's see, a gram is like, yeah. it's, you know what it is, it's small, it's small, okay? Five grams, like a tablet, let me show you guys. These are like five gram tablets, okay? Yeah. So that would be like five grams, okay? So whether it's five, whether it's five grams of protein, and these are grams of protein, usually they've got a filler, which is something that doesn't have calories or anything, but um, that would be like five grams. So if this was a five gram piece of tuna or steak or eggs, that would have how many calories in it? How many calories? If each gram has four calories, and this is five grams, how many calories? Five. Quick, yeah. Okay, quick math. Okay, so we know if I eat five grams, I know that I'm getting 20 calories. Okay, so now you're getting an idea of how many calories, and you know, what, what do I need to eat? Um, fat, any guess how many gram, or how many calories per gram of, does, does uh, fat have, do you know? Do you think it's more? No. It is more, actually. It's nine. Mm -hmm. Nine calories. So if you eat one gram of fat, you get more than twice as many calories than one gram of either sugar, yeah. carbohydrates, or one gram of meat. So this is why fat goes to fat easy. Yeah. Okay, it's an easier chemical transition and it's also got a lot more calories. That's why if you, you'll see something small, like a little, little thing of ice cream, and it says 300 calories. You're like, holy crap. Yeah. 
right? But you eat like a, you could eat a whole a lettuce or cabbage, and I think that's like 40 calories. And then because your body has to burn that, it would actually cost less calories because your body has to burn it, yeah, has to yeah. use it, like, like burning wood. So it makes calories. It actually is, they would call that calorie negative or negative calories because the body has to use its own energy to burn that. Mm -hmm. Like if you tried to eat a piece of wood, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, yeah, the yeah. body, it wouldn't, it wouldn't help you because it wouldn't have calories. The body has to burn it. It would actually hurt you. It would take away, if you wanted to lose fat, maybe, no, I'm not gonna say eat wood, that's crazy tough. Okay, so give you an idea, and we'll write, write that up there. Um, so, uh, let's do it in black, okay? So four grams, or four calories per gram, four calories per gram, and nine calories per gram. Okay, and also, you know, looking again at the ice cream, you've got a little tub of ice cream like this, and it says 200 calories, or like butter, you're like, oh Lord. It's the same thing, like fat on your body, the fat is larger on your body actually than muscle. Muscle is dense, right? But fat is like big and soft and it, it weighs less. So if you look, if you look at a pound of muscle, I talk in pounds, let me do a kilo. I'll say a kilo of muscle, one kilo of muscle would be probably about, uh, about two, two of my hands there, okay? That would be about a kilo of muscle. One kilo of fat. So maybe you've seen that in nutrition yeah. in high school. They, they bring in like a kilo of fat, and the kilo of fat's like this, right? Yeah. So at first, when we go in the gym, you, if you gain a kilo of muscle, and it's gonna be muscle here and muscle here and muscle here and on your legs, you may not see it. But if you lose one kilo of fat, you'll see it now. You'll see it instantly. Because that's like this much shit. That's a lot of stuff. If you, you have seen it, it's kind of funny. You, like yeah, my, yeah. my nutrition teacher threw it at us and we're like, oh God. And then that's one kilo. It's a big piece of crap. And so you knew if you took, I mean, how many kilos of fat do I have here? I probably, if I took off three kilos of just fat, I would have a six pack for sure. It's probably the same for both of you guys, okay? So it'll be different. You may gain weight or you, you may, when you go in the gym, you may not lose weight. You get on the scale and you're like, God, I'm still 75 kilos, but I've been exercising for two weeks. Nothing changed. Well, don't use the scale. If you're stronger, it means you gained muscle. And use your appearance in the mirror to judge that. You'll, look, you'll start to see your muscles come out. You'll see your stomach better, okay? So, I saw uh, Adel, oh, I'll have to cut that out. I, I saw one of my friends when we went to the gym and he got on the scale at the gym when we got in. And when we left, he got on the scale again. <laughs> people do it, especially people that are always gym rats is what we call them, people that are always in the gym. They'll get on the scale. And I used to do it when I was young because uh, I was obsessed and I would get on the scale and I'd look, okay. And then I'd go and work out and then I'd look at it again. Um, don't use the scale because you may gain weight. You're thinking I want to lose fat, okay? And you may actually gain weight and you'll be like, what am I? You probably gained muscle because you're not going to gain fat with, with me. You will not gain fat. And so when I tell you, if I say, if you come into the gym and you're weak, or you're lifting less weight, I'll say, uh, you either need to sleep more or eat more. Some, you're missing something. And it would be good for your journals, um, and we'll find one online, um, if, uh, if you can put in how many hours of sleep you do, because that affects it too. It depends on you. How good of a scientist about building my body do I want to be? Do I want to know exactly, or do I want to have just a, a little bit of an idea? And, and you'll, you'll develop 
uh, an idea of that as we train, okay? So, so that's your foods. So that's one of the reasons we recorded that. So let's move that back out of the way. Okay? Um, pictures. You took a picture of yourself. Don't show it to me. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, don't show it to me. Come on back in here, because it's good to have it, like an interview. Okay? Um, let's see, let's see if we're still here. Okay, so got a picture. Did you find a picture of what you want to look like? Yeah, I did. It left in my mind. <laughs> this one picture. Okay. And this cool. Picture. Actually, don't show me because that can be kind of weird because I'm your teacher and, and I know in Saudi uh, things are different. I don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and I don't mind either. Uh, but just for for culture's sake. Yeah. Um, um, find. Okay, cool. Um, okay, that's that's a good one. Can we shift it? You've got screen lock. Let's put it on so it'll flip. Okay, now it should flip. Oh, it's it's like that. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Just screen lock back off. Okay, because I want to show the camera. Because that's a good one. Okay, let's pop that up there. Check it out. That is definitely motivational. Okay. Good picture. Okay, um, okay. Now I want you to be very realistic about these pictures. Khaled, do you believe you can look like that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Absolutely. How long for you do you believe it will take? If I walk up, mm -hmm. maybe six months, five months. Okay. If I walk up. In my experience, nobody, none of my clients have done that in six months, okay? Um, and to, it's, I'm not saying it's not possible. I really believe that anything is possible. Um, but I would find something that is a little down from that. And the reason why I say that, um, like, think about it in a, in a sense of, of business and business success. If I tell myself that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a millionaire, and I'm a normal guy, and I say, like my older brother did, he said, by the time I'm 30, I'm gonna be a millionaire. So he said a time, and these are important, time and a picture, or what an idea of where you're gonna be. Yeah. So he said, I'm gonna be a millionaire by the time I'm 30. By the time he was 30, he was rich. He had a beautiful house, he had a beautiful wife, five kids, he had uh, a car and a boat, and he had horses and lots of cool stuff, two, three cars, um, and, and he had some businesses uh, and a good job. Uh, but he wasn't a millionaire, and he got really, really, really depressed. You understand the word depressed? He got really down. He's like, he was goal-driven. He had a goal. His goal was to be a millionaire by 30, and he didn't hit it. And when he didn't hit it, it actually caused him more problems than all the motivation to get there. And I saw it in the last year when he was 29. I remember um, he, he knew that he was going to turn 30 and he was really not very close to being a millionaire. Um, he had wonderful progress, but he couldn't see it. He couldn't look back and say, oh, when I was 22, I had none of, I didn't have these cars in this house and my wife and kids. He couldn't see it from there. He only saw it as a 29 year old who was supposed to be a millionaire at 30 and he wasn't going to make it. And when he didn't make it, it hurt him and he got depressed and he got really fat uh, and things in his life started to go really bad because he's like, I didn't make my goal. Okay. So, um, I like that image. If you believe you can get there, believe it and get solid in your mind and believe it and it can happen. You have to believe it again. I think, I think it was with you guys when I said, we know what inshallah means. Yeah. We know what it means. It has to be like above inshallah. Above like, the, for, for you, if we were to say in a cultural sense or a religious sense, that he knows and I know. There's no maybe it's gonna happen. It has to happen. It will happen. I know it's gonna happen. I know it, I know it, I know it. So no doubt, 
There has to be no doubt at all. You understand? Yeah. And actually use that with everything. Okay? Like if you're going to be rich, just know it's going to happen. Know it to be. Okay? And then, so, so get something that's realistic. Get something right now. Go and search. How's our internet right now? Yeah. Find a picture right now. And I think we pulled something, some pictures up um, yesterday, right? And yeah. Together. Let's find a picture that's, for me, realistic, that I would say that I can take anyone, any of my students to. Let's see, are we online? Turn on Wi-Fi. And find a picture that, find, maybe find two or three pictures. That's a good one. And is that crazy? No, you can get there, okay? Okay, time, time is the only possible issue, okay? Cancel, I don't want to be H-I-W-P-T. Mm. This uh, second one. My five, let's go Zane Router. Okay, let's, okay. Very good shape, this guy. Let's see, I'm sure that's in there. Okay. Am I going to go the wrong side? I'm not a pilot. Okay. Yeah. Good image. Great image. Okay. What I would recommend, and if you guys want, you can WhatsApp that to me or, let's see. I can do it from WhatsApp. Actually, email it to me and I'll print it and then you can put it up somewhere you see it. This, yeah. Okay. Good. Very realistic. Okay. What time frame are you looking at? Again, let's pull this one up. This is all for for training purposes, okay? Possible, very possible. Average guy can do that, okay? Okay? So when you look at that, Abdullah, it's the right name, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Abdullah. Okay. Um, what kind of time are you thinking? I don't know, but I will still train until I get this. Okay. That's the key, and he said it right there. If you hit six months and you're not that, I don't want you to be depressed, yeah. okay? Maybe you work harder. Like for me, if I hit the four weeks and I don't look like, you know, uh, Hugh Jackman, if I don't look like Wolverine, I'm not gonna get depressed. But that's something that's in your mind. That's the only reason I would say, if you get to six months, I, that's why I looked at that and I go, I haven't had anyone to go from your starting point to that in six months. That's not to say it can't happen. And as you start training and depending on how serious you are, I will make recommendations like take some BCAAs, some amino acids, take some creatine. And I go to the GNC in Jeddah, uh, the one down uh, by the, uh, there's a big bank there. Um, and I can find creatine and all the good stuff. And that stuff does help. So, and that would help you get closer to that goal. That guy, I promise you, he uses those things that I sent you yesterday in the WhatsApp. He does use those. So um, if you're looking at that, uh, you would probably want to up your game, if you know what I mean. You're going to have to up the game. Okay, It's not just going to be uh, fish and, and uh, pasta and rice. You're going to up the game, which is cool, and we'll see how focused you are. Um, and if you guys know... Uh, places to get that stuff to protein powder or amino acids. Let me know because the GNC in Jeddah is. I've been there three times and it was only open one time, and that was disappointing because you have to drive all the way to Jeddah and it's not open. And I went, in, I went down there, and you know it's the one by the. There's a, a women's golds gym, but it just said golds. Um, maybe you've been down there. Let's see. Uh, it's down by. It's right next to the water. It's not, it's not the beach, but there's water there and there's a little park and you drive out, I forget the name of the road, and on that, uh, that road there's a Gold's Gym and I went and I went inside, uh, it was a weird little dark door and I went inside the Gold's Gym and there was a woman at the front desk and she's all, what? and she got all flustered, I'm like, oh sorry, I was just looking for the GNC, you know, you know anything, and she's like, we're not women, men, you know, and, and I'm like, Oh, this is women's gold gym. Okay, I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> but it was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, the GNCs. If you know of a better place, or if you can buy it on the internet, let me know. Um, no, I will ask the um, Because that actually is—they are very expensive. Every month, 
probably cost me at least uh, 1,200 reals. It's expensive. I mean, that's, and that's expensive. It's not that much in America. I know it's because it's here. It's really, really it's like shopping at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I went in there, I'm like, really? You feel good about selling me this for a thousand? That's what they for me. You can do it these ways, um, but to get up those levels, and so what time frame, what, how, what's your schedule to look like that? What difference do you Okay. Until one year, more than one year. It's good. You know what? I, one of the things and one of the keys is to have that picture for motivation. Those are perfect pictures. And again, email to me and I'll print it. Please. That's, that's maybe your homework today. Okay. Email me that, I'll print it, and I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. Um, and Because it's really important. I cannot say it too many times, and I'll say it every time. You have to have imagination. The belief is 99% of it. The action is very little. People, everyone thinks, oh, he goes to the gym a lot. The reason why Lazar looks like the way he does is because of his belief. He exercises a lot, but the reason he exercises a lot is because he believes that he will look like that. It's not the other way around. The action doesn't happen and then you believe it. You believe it first, then the action happens. Yeah. And then the action becomes a joy and fun. And it's not hard. It's not work because you believe it. And you know in your mind it will happen. That is the key. That's the key to all of life. That's the reason why I have like, you guys see me come in here all super happy and goofy. Mm -hmm. You're like, what, what's wrong with Ryan? What's, <laughs> why is he so happy? We're in Rockland, doesn't he know, right? Because for me, it's a playground. I believe that my life is, I'm an international playboy. When I want to go, I go out and I travel to Istanbul or Hong Kong or the Seychelles and I and take, you know, you know, all the, the cool stuff that I do. Um, so, and the reason I'm there and having that good time is because I believe it. And, and I can walk around Robig and it's the same Robig that other teachers who are all dumpy, like one guy that I love who teaches over here. But he, we are in the same Robig, but him, it's hell. Me, it's paradise. And I know you guys think I've lost my mind. It's not paradise like you know, like the Seychelles or the Maldives. It's not that kind of paradise. But for me and the reasons, the way I see it, it is that for me. I'm happy every day, okay? Um, so it's the same thing with everything and, and definitely with your body. Your body is your closest thing to that. So the, it's the first thing that you affect in reality. The, we, we, we can build things with our hands, we can clean the floor, we can make a building. But the first thing that we can build is our body. So the most important, thoughts that you have is that you have a good body and that you're thankful for your body. Um, we talked about thank you yesterday. We're talking about compliments. Thank yourself for working hard. Be thankful for your body. Thank you for my body. I said that to Abba and, I, and he said, what are you thankful for my body? Everybody has a body. I'm like, no, everybody doesn't. Not everybody can walk. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and I'm not being... I know you're like, oh, now he sounds like a preacher, or now he sounds like the imam. Be happy about your body. Be happy about it. Because if you're not happy with your body, if you're not thanking yourself and him about your body, he doesn't have to give it to you. And your body doesn't have to give it to you. You be, always be happy that you have a body, you've got fingers that work, you've got arms that are strong. Always be happy. And when you look at your body in the mirror, just look at yourself and go, I'm thankful. Yeah, and do like they do in the movies and walk up to the mirror and be like, man, you are handsome. You're a beautiful man. I don't. Do that. And I know it sounds stupid, but you look at the movies or you look at guys that do that and you look at them and they may be in the mirror and maybe you've seen me in the bathroom in the mirror and I'm like, God damn, look at that man. He's handsome and I'm combing. And students will laugh at me. They'll come in and they'll be like, Nice style, teacher. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you like it? Those guys that do that, they have the body that they want and they have the, the looks that they want and, and it's part of it is confidence. Maybe to other people they don't look perfect, but to them they see it, they look perfect. 
So that's really the starting point. The thing not to do, um, don't look in the mirror and go, oh, I don't know, I, I'm still fat, or I'm still, still skinny. Never, ever, ever say that. And don't let someone else see you in the mirror. Don't let people make fun of you. Um, those are very powerful feelings, and, and they will affect you. Um, they, they're very, very powerful. Negative feelings, if you say, and you will, because we're humans and we make mistakes. And, and I did, even last week, I'm like, God, I look like shit. I'm like, how am I going to convince these guys? They know I don't have a six pack. How am I going to convince these guys? And for the whole weekend, I think I got fatter. And then I took the pictures and I got happy. I'm like, Ryan, you know that within four weeks, you will have a six pack. Take the picture. And I went and took the picture. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I just started laughing. And, and that's a good thing to laugh at it because that's a positive emotion. And I will talk about positivity. It's huge. And you'll see some guys in the gym who don't seem positive. I promise you, everybody that has a beautiful body, I promise you that they're positive about their body. They may be hard, and they may start to say stuff like, it's hunger, no pain, no gain. If it doesn't make you, you know, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And they may sound sort of negative and hard and cold, but in their mind, it's positive. They're thinking uphill. They're shooting for the stars, okay? Um, so... The, the positivity is really, really huge. I'm saying 99 if not 100%. So you're saying, the fuel, the fuel. Yeah, well, you say, so people say to me when I say that, they say 100%, 100%. They say, well, so could I just sit around and get a good body? Um, no one has yet. No one has yet. Do I think it's impossible? No. And I'll give you an example, and everyone knows this example. They've heard about it, and there's been documentation of this. Uh, someone gets in an accident, they get in an accident in the car and the child is trapped in the car and mom can open the door or mom can pick up the car. This has happened. And, and you can go Google stuff like that. You can find cases where that has happened and people are like, how does that happen? And there's only one explanation. Well, there's two. <laughs> and of course, that is actually the power. The power is that, of course. But the power went through a pipe. You're the pipe. You're the conduit. The power came through you into moving that. And the power started here because you prayed to believe that it would happen. And a prayer is power, too. These are things that we know and we talk about maybe in, in religion. We talk about a prayer. But then we don't believe in our normal life. We don't believe that we can pray for a good body. What am I going to pray for a six pack? Yes. I, I don't know if it's okay for, for you and your religion, but I do. I'm like, thank you for the six pack. Tomorrow it's going to be better. Thank you. I do. And when I was young and religious and I did. Um, but yeah, it's, it's that power, the power of the mind. That's how she moved the car. Because the mind, once you have the control of the mind, the mind will do it. So that, and I'll say it again and again. Okay. Um, so we got the picture. Um, notebook. You, let's Google that right now. Let's see if we can find an app. Because you've got a book. Um, you're probably I not going to... You guys want to do it in your phone. So let's Google. See if we can find something in the Play Store. You guys have an app store. Go to the app store. Oh, that was the problem yesterday, right? We had bad internet. Or subpar internet. Or not so good internet. This for you, tonight. Uh huh. Both of these and the the uh, password is super teacher. No capitals and no. I want Let me try. I just got online. Go with the Zane router. I'm on the Zane router and I'm in. And you're at the app store. Are you online? I'm yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's try it. They're little tiny keys, so glossy. Right? Connect. I look up. It's 
yeah, let's look what they got. So they got some stuff. I, I knew they would. J Fit. This is J Fit. Let's put that up there. Here's a possible app. app. I'm, I guess I want to just go in front of the camera. Okay. That would be one. Let's try that out. Free personal exercise. So it looks like this one, yeah, it looks like it will record. And that one's free. So download that one. Let's take a look at that one. You're at the Android store. Are you, yours isn't connecting either. Uh, let me try mine. It's just like it's not enough internet to connect. No, let's, you know what, let's do. We've got a network over here. Let's see what we can find here. Because if we can find it at the Android store, then we know when we get internet, we can download it. Um, let me try my Apple too. You guys are different, are different generations, so if you, um, you know, one of the reasons, of course, that that I wouldn't. I wouldn't take a tablet and I don't like a phone, is like a pencil, your hands are gonna be shaky. Maybe not the first workout, maybe not the first week, or maybe not even the first month, but to get that body that those guys have, or anything close to Lazar, you're going to get to the point where your workout is going to make you throw up. And I actually like that. Um, when I go into the gym, and I was training Khaled last year, and Khalid al Baladi, and, and he said, teach her too hard. And I'm like, okay, go work out with your friends. <laughs> you can say, you can say to me, and remember the positivity. Um, you can say to me, wow, that was something. But if you ever go, if you ever start like cry, that's a cry. When he goes, teach her too hard. I was like, you're never going to gain. And I told him that. I said, look, you don't want it. You gotta want it back. You gotta want it. You gotta want it so that if you don't have it, you're going to be sad. And, and you don't focus on the sad, you focus on, I'm gonna have it. And I'll do whatever it takes. I don't care what it takes. If he says that I have to do a thousand push-ups, I will do it. Because it's, and you don't have to, but you will do what it takes. Um, and so you will get to the point where you're shaking. You'll see on some of the videos, like I'll go, okay, here we're, we're writing it down. And I don't, did, I, did I send that one in the WhatsApp? Record it? And, then, and I'm joking, I'm like, okay. And I think my hand's shaking when I'm like, here. So we put in, uh, here is a bent over rose. Um, I'll send you that one. I'll send it right now so you guys have it. Where is my phone? Um, but it's a good one to watch, and I talk about a journal, and I show a journal. Um, if I, I don't think I would be able to put the stuff in here with the little keyboard, because your hands will start shaking. So let's go to my WhatsApp, and I think I've sent it before. Before that, where's our girl? American body, uh, Arab American body. I think I sent it last week. Maybe I haven't sent it yet. Let me go to my email. Search. Is that a notification that I can't ask? Record it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, go grab it. If you guys want to take a five minute break, we can take a break. I mean, this isn't class. This will take a break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one minute. That's okay, cool. Okay, so I think this is the this is the one. Uh, yeah, see we've got that in there. So what I'll do is I will I'll copy it and I'll send it to you. Um, and when you guys get in a place where you can Hey guys, comment. This is a cool video that I made about keeping a journal. So, yeah, because of the bandwidth, it's 
got it all in there, but it's going to say, uh, can we connect? It's like it, it's reaching out. It's like, I understand, but I need to translate it on the internet. Uh, you give it to me. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, no, let's, let's not use guys. We have special language for this website, for this group. Hey, men. Hey, men. Job. Is that what it is? Men. Men. Job. Okay. Let's do that. I don't know if it says free job. Hey, we job. Okay, this is. Let's see what they got. They've got some planned workouts. Let's go check the tricep. Start workouts. So it tells you what to do. That's nice. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be told what to do because I know more than they do. And I promise you that. And I'm not being I'm not being cocky. I'm telling you 25 years. If I don't know more than they do, then I'm stupid. It is good, um, so I can put in BMI is uh, basically that tells you how much what you're made of, how much fat, how much yeah, muscle, how much do you weigh. Um, I don't want to find it. I want to record it. Yeah. Custom vehicle codes. Need to get. Oh. That's the that's the one. Yeah, the ones that they already have. Let's go. Uh, on the fly. Okay, let's see what that says. Oh, cool. This is cool. I like this app. Um, and I knew that they would have stuff like that. Let's go back home. Um, find a workout. Let's see how we create custom exercises. Let's see what that does. Okay. Yeah, there's another point, right? So they're apps. Select any body part. Okay, select it. Okay. Click here to switch between custom exercises and built-in exercises. It's kind of cool. I actually, I do like it. Um, let's see what it does. Click here to add a custom exercise. Okay. What do we have? Triceps? Okay. So how do I add it? Okay. Um, exercise list. Let's go back. Well, that's, it, it's interesting. Let's, let's see if we can find a way to just give me a choice of workout plans. Okay. Progress pictures. I really like it, actually. Let's see. I'll write something in. Uh, select the photos, don't cancel that one. Progress pictures, workout plans, update status. Okay, it's like it's a, I see what it's doing. Featured, user shared, user shared. Okay, interesting. So if they're user shared, that means you can make a plan. choose one and put in my own tool. Actually, I like it. Um, I bet, okay, I'm pretty confident this is a good one. Um, we just need to find out how we can put in the exercise. We choose, we can make our own plan. Um, it, it looks, I'm sure you can. That's a good one. Um, we're, you and me are still not on the internet. Um, Play Store. So let's see if I can pull it up here. Are we connected? Okay. What's that? Oh, you've got internet? Maybe I do too. What are you connected to? HIWPT? Router. To this oh, yeah. one? Yeah. To the same router? Well, let me try mine. So, let me see it again. The best thing for it is to see. Sometimes I have SCC at home, and last night was horrible. Um, what was the name of yours again? The name of the the, the workout journal. Tell me again. The app. Mm -hmm. J E F R T. Good job. 
G fit, that's right, okay. Okay, um, so let me go. See, it's for Android, yeah. Is it there? This one? Yeah. Right on, yeah, pull it down. Let's see what it looks like for, um, for Android. But there's two, uh, one free and one you can I'll get the free one. Start with that. Well, that's the whole key. Um, I'm designing an app, um, and I have a contract with a, uh, an app development company. And most of the apps, when you create an app, it's going to go free. You don't make money generally. You don't make money off of selling an app. You make money off of the advertising that other companies put on yeah, the app. Yeah. yeah. So I just sent sent that video. So when you guys get internet, okay. So let's go look at that one. Let's look at it big. I get a notification, so that must mean I have internet that gets closed all these other ones reopen. So jumping card. It's weird how like one device, there it goes. Let's put it up here so this guy can see it. Doesn't it's just taking time. No worries. You can be patient. So this is the most popular one and the highest rated. Okay, and so the, the idea <coughs> is keeping a workout journal, of course, like food, keeping a journal. You know what goes in. You know how much weight you lifted last time. Um, the reason why muscle grows, yeah. the only reason other than the mind, the mind can make it grow, even if you don't even exercise. Yeah. Um, the reason why muscle grows is because you're lifting either more weight or you're lifting the same weight more times. Understand that? So if I go in and I lift 100 kilos, um, the next, and I lift 100 kilos for one set, and I lift it 10 times, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next workout, I can do one or two things. And I must do one or two things different. I must do 11 reps with 100 kilos, or I must do 101 kilos for 10 reps. Do you understand? Okay, I'll say it again. Okay, we'll say today we'll go into the gym and I'll lift 100 kilos for 10 reps. 10 reps. If I want to grow, when I go into the gym next Monday, I have to lift 100 kilos for not 10 reps. I have to lift it for 10 plus at least one more. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Mean. okay, 11. Or I can lift 100 and one kilos. Ten times. 
ten times. Yeah. Understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll show you my... Either way, it's going to... More. more. It more. must be more. If it's not more, you will not gain weight. You will not gain muscle. Your body will not change. The body wants to stay the same. Your bodies do want to stay the same. Um, you'll see people get fat and you'll be like, well, if the body wants to stay the same, why is it getting fat? Um, if you look at your body over the last year though, probably doesn't, didn't change much, did it? Did it change in the last year? Yeah. Did it lose weight or gain weight? Yeah. Gain weight. Part of that is, how old are you? Uh, 21. 21. Okay. Um, part of it is your body's changing at your age. Um, until you hit about maybe 20, some people it's 18. Um, when you're a teenager, you can do anything and eat anything you want. And usually, you don't get fat. Usually. That's the way nature made us. We're growing. The body's developing. And there's a point... Maybe for some people it's at 18, for some people 20. There's a point where your body, your body's system starts to slow down. And part of it is just it's the system because you're getting older. And part of it is your activity. Usually when we're younger, we're more active. Yeah. You're playing more football, you're walking around, you don't have a car. Yeah. As you get older, you get a job and you sit in a chair more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sucks. That's why I can never be in a, everyone's like, why are you not a manager? Because I don't sit around and I will never be that kind of guy. I have to move um, and I hate sitting around. But, so that's maybe part of what has happened. In the last year you've been here, so you're like sitting around or sitting around. Yeah. Even if you, like, if you were on, at a college campus, You'd have a class over in that building, and then you'd have a class over there, and you'd be going back and forth, and you'd be going across campus, and you'd be seeing beautiful girls, hey, what's up? But, not here, but, right? You know, but, so, for a lot of Americans, even in college, because even though they're like 20 in college, uh, their body doesn't start changing shape. It starts changing shape when they hit the chair, and they hit a job where they're, all they're doing is sitting, and you go from your car. I mean, the only exercise that we really get, especially in, 50 degree weather is going downstairs, getting in the car, and then getting out of the car and going to the class. So when we were younger, we were moving around, we were playing football, uh, we were walking in the streets, we would go to uh, you know, the malls and we'd walk around the mall because we're not married yet. And then, then when you hit about 20, 21, 22, you get married and you stop doing any exercise. And of course, you get and you get fat. Yeah, um, and so that's why that happens, um, and that could be the change. To go back, back to the, the idea and the question, the body does want to stay the same, and once your body is used to a lifestyle, it, it won't. You'll get to a point, and you'll see guys like, or if you looked at the other guys, the teachers that are here, look at maybe the fat teachers or the skinny teachers, the ones that were skinny, stayed skinny last year. We didn't change much. Has my body changed much since you've known me? No. Probably about the same. Okay, I've gone up and down that I know of little changes, but about the same. Talal, pretty much the same. Fat guys, some of the fat guys, they're still fat. They didn't get skinny, they didn't get fatter, they stayed the same. The body will want to, the body wants to stay the same. Okay? Um, so, if you don't do something to make a change, it will try to stay the same. And gaining muscle, I had a joker in here yesterday, Abdullah Mata, and I like him, uh, and he's smart. And he said to me, he said, I don't want to get muscle. <laughs> and I love that. I love when someone says that to me. Oh, I, I, I don't want to get too big. I just laugh when guys say that to me. I'm like, you don't want to get too big. Don't worry. <laughs> it's just not... To get big is, um, for most people, very hard, okay? Um, it's not something you have to worry about. You guys, I saw your pictures, I know where you're going. You're going to be happy to get big. Um, the guys that say shit like, uh, you know, I don't want to get too big. I just want to kick them in the nuts, you know? I'm like, you don't want to get too big? Okay, bam! 
You, you will not have testosterone now. Your balls aren't going to make anything. And you're never going to get into a man. Um, it, it doesn't happen. Nobody goes to the gym and gets too much muscle. Um, and you'll hear little guys, I don't, I don't know why people say shit like that. They'll say, I don't want to get too big. And maybe you'll, you'll hear guys, and you guys will get, be getting big. Your biceps will grow. I know they will grow. And we'll have two people working on this. And maybe two or a whole group will be communicating and you'll be taking pictures of your bicep. But and if you're not, if you, if, if I look at you and I'm like, God, uh, as, cause I'm looking at it as a builder and I'm the chief builder and you're the worker of the building and I look at your body and you're not changing, I'll be like, okay, let's change something up. So that's what a personal trainer does. That's why you're paying me away. Um, so you will get bigger. Um, and, and that, and you have to do something so that the body goes, because the body wants to stay the same, and the body is smarter than the mind about taking care of itself. Yeah. You have to do something that the body goes, that sucks. <laughs> you have to get to the point in a workout where you're, you're shaking. You have to warn on your body. <laughs> yeah, you're warning your body, exactly. You have to, and I use this when I talk to Albert, it has to be that point where if, 60,000 years ago and there was a tiger or a lion chasing you and you jumped and you grabbed a limb and you had to pull yourself up to save your life because the lion is down there clawing at you and you're like, oh, did it. And the body goes, the body's smarter than the mind. The, the mind would be like, oh, I need to find a better tree to climb, right? Or faster shoes. But the body goes, fat as you shit, I need bigger muscles. So that when I jump and grab it next time, I pull right up. Yeah. And that is why the body gains weight. That's why you gain muscle. So we'll do exercises like that. We'll do, if you look at the, some of the workouts that we did, we do a pull up. That pull up, the body still thinks like it did when it was running from the tiger. Yeah. And it thinks when you're pulling yourself up, it thinks that that's what it's doing. I need to pull myself up so I don't fall. The body doesn't have a complicated mind like we do. We know that the ground's there. The body doesn't know that. It's thinking, um, it's thinking, the, it's almost like there's two, two of you. There's the mind and the body, and the body goes, okay, mind is telling me that I have to pull myself up. I can't pull myself up. I'm not big enough. Next time I will. And you go home. So to get to that point when we're in the gym, you will do an exercise and you will fail. You will fail. I'll, I'll, have, I'll, be, we'll, we'll, I'll show you tonight and it'll be fun. And hopefully you enjoy it. And, and I wish I would have done this with Adel before, but we didn't have a lot of time to talk. So you'll get to a point and you'll be like, I can't do anymore. I'm like, yes, you can. Do one. And I'll have my, my hands under your feet and we'll push you up. And then I'll say, hold it. And you'll be like, okay, I'll try. And, and I'll let go. I'll pull out and you'll just go you'll just go wham. Um, that, I mean, you don't want to hurt yourself, but you'll get to that point where the muscle fails. When the muscle fails, it talks to itself and it says, I've got to be bigger next time. That's the point that you want to get to every workout. So if it's one more pound or if it's one more rep, and hopefully a rep that you fail on, because the body doesn't want to fail. It doesn't want to fall into the mouth of the alligator or the tiger that's, that it thinks that it's going to, or fall off the cliff. You know, it thinks it's hanging and it thinks there's nothing down there because the body doesn't have eyes, it just has muscle. Mm -hmm. So that's the key. And I will push you to those points. Um, and you gotta, you gotta hang with me on that. That's why Albert went from 60 kilos for 15 reps to 140 kilos for five. Unfucking believable. I've never seen anyone grow as fast as Albert. And Albert is 45. Okay? So you guys are in a very good place. Albert grew. So uh, I, we started training in March. By November, he could lift almost 100 kilos more. And he was really lifting it. And he didn't, well, you see how he works? He's always in his office. He works like, 15, 16 hours a day. So, and he doesn't eat right. I know he doesn't. He wouldn't even write me a journal. He thinks he's too smart. 
And I go, dude, he, cause he's like, he's like, wants to lose his fat. I'm like, Hey man, you don't write. I said, there's, and he doesn't pay me either, but we're buddies. He, we have the key for, uh, and so we go in in the morning at 4.30 because he's friends with Khaled, I think Khaled Bladi or Ahmed Bladi, one of the, not Ahmed, but one of maybe, uh, I don't know, but he's friends. So we have a key, we can go in, so it's like a trade-off and I'm training him. But I would not, if someone asked me to train them and they, they said, well, I'm not going to write it down and be like, I'm not training you. And you guys are seeing that. I will not train you. Um, you passed the first test. You show me, you wrote it down. And when we came in, you brought it in. And I could talk about this. If you came to me today, I would still, I would still be motivated because I like you guys. Um, but I wouldn't have something to talk about. This is what I wanted to go into. But if you come in and you don't have anything, you're yeah, not working with me. Yeah, so, yeah. So, he, he didn't do anything. To go back to Albert and how fast he gained... He's not writing it down. He's not eating good food. He's eating a lot of protein, but he's not eating enough sugar. Um, he's not doing the right things, but he gained incredible strength, amazing strength. So he's like one of my success stories when he's too quiet about it. When you guys get success, tell your friends. That will help your success. In four, if in four weeks you have a different body. Hello, Mosley, how are you? Come on in. We're talking about uh, Intisa. How are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> talking about food and carbohydrates, protein. These guys, in let's see, in six let, for six weeks, we're going to take away this, and he's going to have. Six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Inti Saad, beautiful gym. <laughs> That's what they said. New fitness. Yeah. Do you know when? When it opens? I don't know. Oh, it has happened. Almost open. Yes, that happened. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. 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 Mm. See you guys. Well, that's good news. We can go there. Um, and I talked to Akil, and he said that I, he said that they would work a deal with the school and the gym that maybe they could open that for. Uh, they would. We could pay like fifty reals a month. For me, I don't care. And actually, um, if someone wants to pay a little for something, they don't want it so much. And you guys are kind of lucky because I'm teaching you about life and success and the way to think positively um, more. Um, I, if, if, you, if you're not willing to pay a lot for something, then you don't want it that much. And a lot of the guys will say, or if you're not willing to go at a certain time, then you don't want it. One of the kids, I call, I'll call him a kid because of the way he's acting. He said, come at night at 8 o'clock. I'm like, uh, are you telling me to? I'm definitely not going to train you. I'm saying, when you guys asked me, I said, well, I'm available at five to six. You're like, okay. That's the attitude. Um, if you're not willing, you say, come, no, when it's, when it's good for me is eight. He's like, five, no good. I'm like, for you? Yeah. I don't think any, any, anyone who talks to someone who's giving something and so much knowledge for free like that, I would never give him shit. Yeah. Um, anyone in the, on the planet. Some of the teachers talk to me like that. They'll come, I had a teacher say, so you show me the gym? I'm like, the gym's over there, man. <laughs> That's where the gym is. It's like, well, I thought you could like give me a tour, show me around. Did you think that? Is that what you thought? <laughs> well, you thought wrong, asshole. <laughs> um, and you'll never get anywhere in, in life like that. Um, and that would be nice if it's 50 reals. I like that it's 250. Is it worth it? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But if you're willing to pay 250, is it expensive for a gym? Yeah. Especially for the kind of gym. In America, um, not that America is right, but in America, because we have normal economics or American economics, 
Iktisad. So there's a lots of gyms. There's gyms, gyms, gyms. There's like a gym here and a gym there. It's, it's like masjid, right? There's one, 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 one. It's all over the place. So they have to compete for me. So the price is, you can go to nice, nice gyms. Oh, on, no. Yeah. You can go to a beautiful gym in America for like $10 a month. $10. Yeah, it'll be like, what is $10? Like 30, 37 30 30 hours. Yeah. And beautiful gyms. Like the, I haven't been in a gym in Saudi Arabia. Well, I've seen, yeah, actually, actually I did. I went down, I was in Jeddah and uh, I, I was driving to GNC and there was a, I think it was a 24 hour fitness. Fitness time? Maybe fitness time. Yeah. And it was a nice looking gym. But the gyms, you can find gyms that are even nicer than that for like 10. And someone told me that they're like a thousand reals a month. How much? Which are? How much are they in Jeddah? But that's right. Uh huh. One year, maybe 3,000 or 4,000. Yeah, 4,000. A year, 4,000. I mean, I guess that's, that's, so that would be, that's less than 200 reals. Um, if it's 3,000, that's, that's not too bad. What, 3,000? You have 8,000 or 1,500. Yeah. I mean, that's still really expensive. In America, you can find a good gym, even if it's not on sale at $10, you, would, you know, you could find a really good gym for $20 a month. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's Intisar, and it's, it's not much of a gym, and it's all dirty. You know, I like that, because the people that are not serious, they won't come in. I don't want people that are going to sit around and talk in the gym. Yeah. I don't want people on their iPhone in the gym. I don't want people like watching fucking TV in the gym. Really? Um, and Adel did, and, and, and I, I'm not bad mouthing Adel. I like him, but these are examples of things not to do. You guys already know that. And again, when I'm in the gym, it's, I'm a different person. Um, and you'll probably think there will be things that will happen and you'll go, well, he's kind of rude. But that's my gym personality. And if you ask me something, like, like Adel came up and he said, I think I told you yesterday, but he said, well, this guy, uh, his friend Abdulaziz, and he introduces him to me in the middle of the workout in, in a Saudi way. And I understand the Saudi ways, or hello, how are you? You know, and I understand that. But in the gym, I don't do that. And I'm not going to be nice. I'll be like, hit the, hit the workout, hit the set, go. And he'll be like, oh, he wants to come with us. I'm like, he better hurry because I'm not waiting for him. And I will seem very rude. Um, if someone, I don't talk in the gym. We know that if we've got 30 minutes, because 30, minute, 30 minutes is the best amount of time to be in the gym. If you go 45 minutes, it's a little too long. And it will take us probably a month to get to that point where we're going 30 minute workouts. And at first you'll go, what, just one set? Well, if I do that set, that set that had me pulling away from the tiger, that's all I need. Once my body gets to that point where I almost fall and I don't fall, but I pull myself up, the body says, click. It's like a light switch. And the body clicks and it says, okay, for next time, I will have stronger muscles. And once we can see that, and because I've been training for 25 years, I'll be able to see it in you when you hit that point. And, and I'll have to push you harder. When you, you'll get to a point where you think it's the, the, the light switch. You'll be like, that's enough. And I'll be like, one more. Because even for me, like, even like Albert will be like, you got two more. And I'm like, I don't have two more. <laughs> and he'll push me like I'll have 120 kilos on the bar and 120 kilos. I weigh like 85 kilos and he can push 140. He's like, you can do it. I'm like, I don't think I can. But he, had, he pushed me and I did it and we put it in. So that's important. That's one of the reasons for a trainer and for partners. And after four weeks, you guys can do that to each other and you will. And you will, and that's one of the, I mean, that adds to your life something different that you yeah. didn't have before. So what's the plan? Uh, three times a week, enough? Well, three times is plenty, and as you get stronger, you can work out less. 
you probably won't want to. You want to work out more because you start to really enjoy it and you get a high. And you'll see after the gym, you go, you, your muscles start to get big and it's called a pump. You'll get that pump and it feels really good. And you'll be like, well, let's work out four days a week. And I did it too. And, and you'll want to. Let's work out five days a week. Um, actually, as you get stronger, you need more rest. Because while your body, your body will get stronger, your body's ability to make more muscle does not change. So if you go and you lift 100 kilos and then and the body gets bigger so that 100 kilos is easy and then you're lifting 120 kilos, the body goes, well, okay, you're lifting more weight, so I want to lift 120 kilos it's going to take me more time to make that much more muscle than it took me to make the muscle to lift 100 kilos. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it's more muscle and it's a bigger lift. It's like if you went into a battle uh, the first time and you had 100 soldiers. You went into a battle and it was, it was a battle um, and they had a thousand, and you killed all thousand of theirs, but they killed everybody but 19 of your guys. You have 19 guys left. You're like, holy shit, we're not doing that again. Not for a while. We need 150 guys. And we'll go up to it. So that, think of it that way. So that's the body. So it's going to take more time to recruit and train 150, you know, you, you've got 19 guys. So you need 120 or 131 guys to get back. So that's what your body's thinking. No, I need more time for tr to, to build that up. And you do not grow in the gym. You grow at home when you're yeah. sleeping. Yeah. That's when you grow. So, hey, man. How's it how going? Good. That's what I'm saying. Right. Hey. So, so rest, rest is a good thing. When you're outside of the gym, be lazy and be happy to be lazy now. Now you have a reason to be lazy. If you don't have to run, walk. If you don't have to walk, sit. If you don't have to sit, lay down. If you don't have to be awake, be asleep. Yeah. You have a reason to be lazy now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was nice too because, uh, you know, we know it's, it's kind of a lazy lifestyle out here and I do like that. Uh, but this will be nice. You'll be like, and you'll feel it. And you'll maybe, it didn't seem like um, facial, right? Facial was yeah, with us yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Faisal said that he didn't like the feeling of being sore. Um, how do you guys feel about that, being sore? Have you, you, have you, you've done some exercise in the past, maybe football, and your legs hurt from playing too much football. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that? Do you, does that? Are you afraid of that? Okay, well, um, if you feel bad today, tomorrow, yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't usually take two or three days, and you'll be... You guys are young, so, and the, the food that you're eating, if you're eating the correct food, it'll repair your body. Two, three days most. Three days, at first it, it may take longer, but we'll move in slowly. It's up to you. You're young, so if you, this evening at five, if you guys want to push it really hard, I'll let you. Um, the harder you push today, the sore, the more pain there'll be. But it's, it's up to you. Some people like the pain. Albert, Albert's crazy about the pain. I kind of like the pain, but I don't want it so much pain. I want stuff step by step. Yeah. Until, <laughs> yeah. Albert always says, let me see if I've got the video. Where did I put the video of Albert? I see it. You see the one it's with... Squat. Squat, right? That's like the squat. squat. Yeah. Squat. With the five yeah. and the plates are going... I see it. They're really fucking heavy. Um, and that kind of, when, and we'll do some of that lift maybe four or five months from now, maybe after the summertime, because you'll come back and you'll be stronger and you'll want to get bigger and bigger because if you want to get like those guys, we'll have to do some serious training. Um, when you do an exercise like that, you want to take two or three days off. Going on Sunday, I do, what was that, five plates. Five plates is... Um, that's 220 kilos, 220 kilos. That's like me and you and half of you on the bottom. <laughs> 220 kilos. And, 
the body just goes, the whole body, not the, just the legs, the shoulders, the neck, your stomach, you'll feel it in your stomach. The whole body just goes, something very different changed. It's like, we don't need 150 men. We need a new country. <laughs> yeah. and, and that's one reason why he gained so fast. His body's like, I need a new country. And he said, okay, we'll build a country. And I'm like, I want a new fucking country, dude. I do this for fun, man. I, I like to go in the gym and do 20 pull-ups. I don't want to lift 220 kilos. If you did, you you saw it on on my YouTube page. You didn't see it. I I'm going to show you just so you can get an idea. And, and we can lift it. Um, and when I was younger, I lifted that. But I'm not about lifting it anymore. It's too much weight. It's it's just too much weight. Um, and it's about four minutes. And we'll record some of the videos. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the view here. Okay, where is Al? Here's Al. 220 kilos for breakfast. Okay, let's get to go. Five kilo. Five plate lift. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I won't let you. He takes some time getting ready. So you can see where we've got to pump on. We're all. Okay, so he's going to wrap up, wrap up. And of course, you're like, wow, take your time. Take your time. That's a lot of goddamn weight. You see the bar go. And he does it for like 50 reps. You just hear it, and you can see the bar going like it's a little, there's like shaking. I'm worried he wants to put six plates on, and I'm like, I don't think that these these are not normal like American international bars. These are like the cheapest Chinese shit that they could put in the gym. And I'm worried the bar is going to go, boink. Yeah, yeah. Because. <laughs> oh my God! I don't even know I said that. I said I think I'm gonna pick it up and put it down. So I get underneath it and I'm like, okay, let's... Which will burn more fat. Yeah. 
And you notice a lot of these big football players, they're not really big up here, but they've got six packs, but their legs, yeah. their legs are like a lion, like a panther, right? Like a big horse, like an Arabian horse's legs. Cause, and that's, they do a lot of training and squats and like, and do deadlifts and stuff. And there's just, there's, this gym is just fine. There's plenty of stuff to do there. So plan, yep, three days a week. Um, what I can give you right now, I will, I'll stick with you guys for four weeks. Um, Cause I'm thinking about, hey, that's not. Um, I have a presentation in Cambodia that I'm going to in February. So I will start preparing for that in about two weeks. Um, I will stick with you definitely for about two weeks. Okay, I'll come in the gym, be with you, show you what you need to do. Um, at that point, um, you will know, you will know, you'll know the food, you'll have an idea about that. You'll know some exercises. That's a great app, you can see exercises. Um, and I will definitely hear for the questions. Um, but I don't know, because I'm also doing it with other guys on different days. Yeah. Um, the key is to get you guys to the point where you know exactly what you're doing. And if you're ready to learn, it will happen very fast. And you won't need me. Um, maybe I can come in and show you some different exercises and stuff like that. Uh, but probably, I mean, two, two to four weeks, you should know what you need to do by then. So, uh, so probably, well, let's go today. And then I'm taking, tomorrow I'm taking, uh, I guess it would be, Faisal, Faisal, and maybe there's a couple other guys. We'll see who's serious. I think Salem wants to come, um, but we'll see. They'll have to. They'll call me from the group or WhatsApp. Yeah. You guys are the most serious. You're here again today, so I can see it. You did your journal. I don't know if Faisal did it. Uh, um, when someone says to me, you know, something like, oh, "It was painful. I didn't like that. It was bad. I stopped." I'm like, "You stopped because it was painful? Well, you're gonna have a hard life." Or you're, you're going to have an easy life because yeah. you're not going to do anything painful. Um, I don't believe that no pain, no gain. You can get things without pain. You have to find a way to make the pain fun. Because um, for most people, the pain, they stop at the first pain. Someone, a lot of businesses, I've started at least four businesses, maybe more. And every time I start a business, I'm going to go, well, it may fail. Uh, some people will start a business and they'll start a business and they put a lot of money into it and it fails and they go Never doing that again Yeah, no, no, not gonna do that. I know that's not what I want and that's fine if they don't want it But they're not gonna be a businessman or if you come into the gym and you're like, oh god, that just hurt too much I can't do that. Well, you're not gonna have the body you want or you'll have to find a different way And there are different ways yoga, tai chi, yoga works I still do yoga. I used to do yoga three, four times a week. And that's part of it, um, being 40 and having, um, I'm not six pack right now, but I have a body that's better than 99% of the 20 year olds here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning I'm twice their age, so. Yoga works, there's different things, lots of different types of exercise. Um, I don't think any Saudi man is ever going to do yoga. Because you have an idea of what yoga is like for women, right? I don't know, some guys may. No? Really? No, That's I, good. Yes. I like yoga, but we don't have here any gym. Gym. Coach. Coach. I taught yoga to Chinese girls in for China. I've been doing yoga for about 10 years, and I started teaching yoga in China about 2000. Seven. In 2007, I started teaching yoga, um, and uh, the it was funny. Chinese men are not men <laughs> at all. At all, uh, they're not Bruce Lee. They don't look like Bruce Lee. They don't look like Yao Ming. They're not Yao Ming. <laughs> uh, and I would say yoga, you know, and they're like yoga's for girls. I'm like, you are a girl. <laughs> don't worry, you're a girl. It's okay. But they wouldn't do yoga. Um, Christopher did yoga. And Christopher was a man. I mean, you guys remember Chris. Yeah. Uh, Chris. 
um, and he did yoga. Um, he would teach yoga. I saw him teaching yoga in the gym. If you guys want to learn some yoga, we can do some yoga. And some good warm-ups to the workout will do. Um, th oh, this is really good that we had this. Um, and, and it shows me how serious you guys are. So I think you're more prepared. So when we go in, we'll get there, um, and we'll just, tonight we'll do five, ex five, five exercises. Um, we'll do five different body parts. We'll do the chest, so we'll do a press, a dumb, uh, uh, if, if the, we'll do bench press. Some, everybody wants to be on the bench press, so sometimes if someone's taking it, you can do other things. Yeah. Uh, but if, hopefully, we'll be the, the, the guys there. Um, we could go earlier if you want to. So I think it opens at four, but five, if five is good for you, we can go at five. Four thirty. So. Yeah, so the earlier we get there, there's less guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you want to go at 4.30, I can go at 4.30. I'll just go straight from here. I'll leave from here, like 4, some, something like that. Is that good for you too, 4.30? Okay, cool. So 4.30, and then we should have the gym all to ourselves. There shouldn't be anyone else in there at 4.30. So we'll do a bench press, and then we'll do a pull-up. Um, I've got videos, and if you guys want to see those, we'll probably take lunch. Um, we'll do a pull-up, and then we'll do a squat like this, and then we'll do two arm exercises, a bicep curl, and then a press down. Like this? Mm-hmm. And you've probably done some of those, yeah. Um, or we may, uh, we may do a dip for triceps. Um, do it like this? Uh, the dip would be like this. So you'd be in a bar and you'd press yourself up like that. Um, that actually, those body, those movements where you're moving your body through space, those are the best exercises for building muscle. So pull-ups, squats, dips, push-ups. The, the reason we don't do push-ups for chest is because the chest is so strong. We, I, I can do like 100 push-ups. How much do it? How much is this? No, no, no. <laughs> don't worry about the weight. The weight's, I don't know. You, maybe um, we may start with 40 kilos. Uh, have you done weight before? How, do you know how much? Don't worry about the weight. And don't look around it. Just if, if you're worried about your self-confidence, focus on me. Try to. Don't think about what any, anybody else is doing. And I'll be the same noisy Ryan. And I don't care what anybody else is doing in the gym. I pay my membership just like everybody else does. Um, if they got a problem with it, they can go to a different gym. I guarantee you I'm the strongest there and I've got the biggest mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm a different person in the gym. Um, it's funny, like, I'm a really nice guy and like I'll, I'll hold the door open for any guy. And I'll be like, you know, but in the gym, there was a guy last week, he came over, I was doing an exercise and I stopped doing the exercise and I was stretching. And he came over and, and he goes, he, maybe he thought it was polite and I was just stretching. And he goes like this. And I just like look up at him. And I didn't respond. And he started taking my weights off the bench. And I'm different in the gym. I'm more like a gorilla. And I go, yeah, I'm still using it. And he goes, he goes, oh, sorry, and I go, then I realized I'm Ryan again, and I'm like, oh, you know, go ahead and jump in. Yeah, that's <laughs> but, yeah, I become a different person. Yeah. And it, it kind of, it's good, because you want to be like, so we're normal men, thank you, yeah. businessmen, uh, life, but you want to be like, <laughs> his businessman, man, cannot be under 220 kilos. He has to go back in history to when he was like, you know, he was wearing like robes, you know, like, you know, and he was running from tigers and throwing a spear at an elephant or, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to get, and if part of that, getting in that zone before your workout, and I think you guys saw the one of Adam when he's dancing. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that one? And I thought it was cool. Maybe that's part of the zone. That zone wasn't very serious. When I get in my zone, I put on Metallica. Do I have Metallica on here? Yeah, Metallica. Find yourself some music. Find yourself a zone. 
that you can get into. And do you know what I mean by zone? Okay. An area, a place, what's a good one? Let me move it to some other disk. Okay, so this is a good one. Find yourself something that's just, find a music, get your head in there. You probably heard this one, yeah? So this is like 30 years old. So find something like that. And if you want some stuff like that, I've got lots of music like that. that and you can feel it. I mean, you can hear you like, I am a champ. Yeah, yeah. And, and use all those things. They're all important and they're very valuable. And the champions, the guys that get to that size, they do all of it. And they don't give a shit what anybody else around them thinks. They don't care what people think about their pictures of a man's chest. And they don't care what they think about their music and they're in their zone. Um, get in your zone. Take it for you and make it your serious place. Um, and don't care about what anybody else thinks. So, cool? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. It's, I think we're going to have a good time. I think it's going to be a blast because I... I stopped doing it when I first came in last year. I came in last, uh, and one of the students was like, hey teacher, I want to ask a question about your body. I'm like, okay, maybe after class. And he came and he asked the question. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I work out. Yeah, and, uh, and he, goes, he goes, can you show me? I'm like, it's been some time, but yeah, maybe, yeah, let's, I'll go in the gym and I'll show you. And I went in the gym and he goes, that I don't like that exercise. I'm like, okay, we'll do a different one. And I showed him a different one. He's like, oh, the teacher, that hurts. Do a different one. And I'm like, okay, work out with your friend. Never mind. And so I forgot it. I'm like, uh, Saudi men, they don't exercise. And I, I saw some, when, it, when you go in the gym, you don't see a lot of Saudi men. It's more foreigners. Yeah. It's not Saudis. Yeah. And I just thought, and I know, and, and I'm not saying all Saudis, uh, but I know there's an attitude of laziness because you don't have anything to do, right? You're not lazy. You just don't have anything to do. It's bravo. Am I going to go out with a girl? That's what I do in America. No, I can't do that. Can I go to a movie? No, I can't do that. Can I go out and play football? Maybe in the dirt? No, I wouldn't either. Am I going to play basketball in 40 degree weather? No. Hell no. Not me. Um, so it's not laziness, it's just there's nothing to do. Um, so I stopped for a year, it's been more than a year, and now I finally have you guys, and you're like, I'm serious. I'm like, wow, because I thought Adam said he was serious. I'm like, okay, let's do it. And I was all excited, and we got going, and we were talking. Did, did you guys see the one about record, uh, the record? You watched that, yeah? yeah. Recording it. Um, and I'll put a link to that as well, or you can go to my website, uh, my YouTube channel. If you, if you watch one of those videos, it'll link you to my YouTube channel. Look at the workout ones that I would post. Um, uh, and, and it just wasn't, wasn't very serious about it. Um, so I was going to end it yesterday. I was like, and I cut out of, out of the picture, but I still had motivation because guys were, sounded like they were more serious. But you guys, you guys are the solution. You guys are the success plan. And that's going to, when you guys do it and people succeed, will see you successful, and then they'll be able to watch videos. And that's not the same, but maybe that will help. Because we there's only one super teacher. <laughs> okay. All right, right on you guys. Okay. So 4.30, yeah. I'll see you there. Yeah. I'm excited, I'm really excited. Maybe I'll train with you, we'll go three of us, because I didn't train, the last time I trained was Sunday. So maybe we'll go through it together. Okay. No problem. Cool, cool. Okay. Yeah. See you all See you out there smoking. See you. Yeah. <laughs>
Here's another one talking about the importance of journal with one of our brothers, period. 